Good morning, everybody. Another uh, metal detecting day. Haven't been out in a while. Um, I've had a really bad infection from having the wisdom teeth out. So this is day nine. Four days of no sleep and the worst pain you can imagine before I got that taken care of. So I just want to say to everybody, if your dentist is telling you to get your wisdom teeth out and they're not bothering you, I got to say, no way, man. <laughs> anyway, I'm feeling better today. Let's get out there. We're going to meet Stan. Let's go do some detecting. As well, there's my new boots. So those are a um, tactical, I forget the brand, Amazon. Mm, I'll put the brand up here on the screen somewhere. We're going to try these out and uh, we'll let you know how they, they end up panning out. Okay, so Gage and I are just killing time at the park waiting for Stan. And I actually found a coin which we've missed to this point. It's only a penny, but I think it's an old one. So let's take a closer look. Canada 1940, so not a bad start to the day. So we've actually decided to work the little park here for an hour. Uh, Stan says he has a good feeling, so let's give it a go. Well, not a coin, I don't know what that is. It says pull on the front, and that's the back. What is that? Okay, now I'm really confused. Six inches from the last one, here's another one. Pull. <laughs> what the heck is that? And we move over five inches and there's the third one. What are these things? I'm just waiting for the one that says push on it. Look at that. Okay, so these grooves on the end here looked weird to me and Stan confirmed, we looked closer, there's a hole in here this almost looks hollow. That's a weird looking bullet. We think it's actually, Sam thinks, maybe a dart. It's really heavy. Maybe even some kind of lawn dart. Okay, so we've moved off into the bush. Uh, we've got a couple old farm sites here, 1880-ish. And Stan is on the power line right there. So one of the sites was right here in this cleared out area. And we think the well was over in there, but we're going to Take a little wander through here and just swing around and see what we can find. He's already been sick today and then tried to eat a dead porcupine after he was sick. Not the smartest dog, are you, Gage? Eh? He's happy though. Look at him. He's always happy, that guy. Okay, so here's a cellar hole. And we've got some lilacs. And a real nice clearing behind us with great big old poplars back in there. But we're going to detect this clearing. And there's fields down below, Stan says, and another well. Hey, there's a good sign, guys. That is an old copper spoon. And you can see a nice, delicate uh, design on that. No markings. So that's a good sign that we're in, a, in the right spot. Here's some of those big poplars I was talking about. And right there's a stone pile. So they cleared this and must have had barbed wire along the edge of it at one point because there's an old piece of barbed wire with one of the barbs still on the bottom there. We found one of these at the last rail station. That is smaller, that's like a 20 gauge. Of course I gotta drop it. But it says on here, DC Company, 57 Snyder. So we should be able to date that, and I'm going to say that's late 1800s for sure. Hey guys, I'm just at home doing research on that uh, 57 Snyder shell casing that I found. And surprise, it is not a 20 gauge shotgun shell. It's from a breech loading rifle. It was a Snyder Enfield, made in 1866. I'll throw up a picture right here on the screen and uh, I'll show you, not what I thought it was at all. And I don't know if I mentioned it, but that spoon would be in the same era. I don't think it would be any newer than 1910 because they started putting markings and they weren't made out of copper after that point. So we're in the right spot. Here's a little bit of a stand pile. We've got an old spigot and a couple pieces of copper. This one here is copper as well. We don't know what that would have been for. And an old file. 
Okay, another little J hook. We found one of those in the last video. And here's another old stone wall. Starts right there and comes all the way down here. You can see the stones right here buried in the grass. Heading up that way through the bush. And right here under the stone wall, I've got a nice high 80 signal. Way in this hole, right in there. Oh, let down. Hey, can you guys see that X on the ground right there? X marks the spot. Something there. Okay, X never marks the spot. Whoever said that is retarded. Or was retarded. Piece of old wire. And that's the problem with these old homestead sites, guys. Just as much work as there is in coin hunting, but a lot less rewards. A lot of old crummy nails and wire and shotgun casings. And it's hard to make a video on these sites, but hey, I like the adventure of being in the bush, so hopefully we find something. You guys can see, too, that already spring here, all the new growth is coming up, so it's already hard to detect in this field. And it's only going to get worse, so we've got to do it now. Okay, so what is this? It's brass. And there's like slide rail on the back with two holes. I have no idea what that is. Okay, so I'm 99% sure that is a bone. I don't know what kind of bone. But that's a bone. And in the same hole as the bone, we've got some mystery item here. It's pretty big. I don't know what. I'm going to have to dig this thing out, but there's the top of it. There it is. It's a stove plate. And it says right on here, heater. <laughs> Something heater. Half of a stove plate. Door or a lid, I don't know. Look what I found. There was still an overload down there in the hole. Now we can read it. Famous airtight heater. Stan says he's going to take that home and do some electrolysis on that. Hey, another old spoon. This one's folded over. And it does have a mark on the back, which I'm going to brush off here. There's the maker's mark. There's a symbol, and then another symbol, and then it says D and A. So Stan gave the spoon a lick here, and it says Nevada Silver, D and A. And where we scratched it, that looks silvery. And there's part of an old cross-cut saw. Well, there's an old brass buckle. Look at that. Now that's a buckle. Silver plated. Even got a piece of leather still in here in the back. These guys must have had some money here at this place. Everything was plated. Well, on the silver plated buckle note, that's going to be a day, guys. I'm out of time. Gage and I got to go. But uh, lots of signals here all over. We could definitely come back and give this another going over. So we'll catch you guys in the next video.